So I've got another walkthrough in my Hobonichi and I'm so excited to share it with you. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you, I appreciate it. So this Hobonichi is a daily journal that I started this year. I did do Archer and Olive daily journaling for a few years, but really it was hard to get really consistent. Um, but this year it has stuck. I mean, most days I get a little jot little notes or something like that, or stick a post-it note, um, or I get the basic outline. But really for me, that's the consistency is the fact that every day I show up and I put something in here, even if it's just a sticker, I am still gravitating towards putting something in this journal and I absolutely love it. And I actually just learned, and I know this is going to sound silly, but I just learned that there is a Hobonichi that is just like the cousin, but it's split into two parts. I think it's called the Avec. Am I saying that right? I don't know. But it starts in July. And I was like, why didn't I think of that? Because I'm definitely going to do that for next year because this is just, I, I don't know how this is going to fit another six months. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, let's get into the walkthrough. I put these tab stickers on and I did such a horrible job. Like July is actually on the 19th. I, I mean, I don't know what happened. I got excited to actually have tabs ahead of time and I just, I don't know, got a little crazy. Same thing with May. May wound up on the 6th, so I don't know. All right, so for June, again, I thought about decorating this monthly page, but I wound up not decorating it. Oh, and I forgot to mention if my lighting seems a little weird, it's because I had a bulb go out and then I'm trying like a different lighting situation while I wait for the real bulbs to get here. Okay, so June, I started off by printing a quote from Instagram and then kind of what I'm hoping for June. And then I intended to go back and like write about the day, but I forgot. And this photo collection was actually from the day, but I really liked it here. And so I paired it with a sticker and then some washi tape. And this washi tape, I might actually throw away because I think it's indicative of that it is bad. Yellow right there. So I think that that means it's bad. I also had a post-it note of like other things I wanted to talk about here, but I never got to it. So I just left the post-it note. This was my birthday and I used a Summer Witch sticker from the shop in Netherlands that I always uh, link in my description box. I also added in some Tombow, like swipes, I guess you would call it. And then a clear sticker I printed from a scrapbook kit. My coworker gave me this and I needed to get like just a clip or something to just clip it there. For the fourth, it was the last day of school. So I printed a big clear sticker from a digital scrapbook kit and then also a card and just talked about like the main three areas that I wanted to have some projects this summer. And then just a breakdown of the day. First day of summer vacation, I did a really great list of everything that went on. And I also doodled a bunch of things that represented the day, like ice cream and working out, watching TV. And I got my first washi tape from Every Minute A Story. So I've seen other people do this, so I was excited to do it myself, which is take a little sample of each of the washi tapes and then um, add it in there. So this picture is printed on matte paper and I think it's the last time that I printed photos on matte paper. I'm trying vellum. I'm not sure if I'm sold on it. I don't feel like the colors are as vibrant, but you guys can let me know your opinion. But this, uh, you'll see in a little bit, some vellum photos. For me, again, breaking up the space really continues to work for me and then putting stickers to kind of prompt you know, what I'm gonna write about, I love that. It makes it simple and easy. I also did just a little list of some fun things for this second day of summer break. 
This next one, I loved uh, Claire from online. I mean, she does amazing pages. And she had this rules for summer. And I decided to go ahead and do my own rules for summer and then add in a bunch of stickers that kind of resemble donuts uh, since it was National Donut Day. And I love how it turned out. It's so festive and so summer. And then this one over here is summer filled as well, but different colors. I printed out a scrapbook card. It's like a journaling card, three by four, but I shrunk it down to fit in this box and then added a photo of my daughter and I, some stickers and then wave stamps. It's just so cute and I love, I love it. Turned out fantastic. So this one was another really amazing page that I just like, I stare at it and I'm like, wow, I love this page. <laughs> Is that silly or does anyone else do that? Because I love it. I just love how it turned out. I was having a really like tough mental health day. So I put one of these stickers. I think they're from Every Minute A Story. Yes, Every Minute A Story. And there's another one that says so much going on at the moment. And then another little character right there. Love these. So I had these stickers and then I also had some digital pieces and I brought them all together. I also did a weekly like counting uh, by the numbers and I just love it. And then I got some bad news from work. So I decided to um, have some bibliotherapy and read a really good book. And I also had a pep talk with my friend Erica and I just found some PNG stickers and I actually love this page and how it came together. I wrote out therapy right here and I did not like how it turned out. It was too squished. So I was able to put a stamped sentiment there to kind of cover that up. The 11th, I was digging through my stickers. I, I don't know if this was before or after my sticker organization, but I found these ones and I wanted to use them as prompts. So I used them as prompts and then I was like, well, how am I gonna decorate my page? And I decided to color in some of these butterflies with various inks and it's so fun. It's not necessarily summery, but it's different, definitely has the vibes of nature. Over here, my best friend came to visit on the 12th. So I included two photos because whenever he comes to visit, we always pack a lot of stuff into the day. And this was the, this was the case for this day. We started off the day with a hike and then we had lunch and went swimming and uh, went to my daughter's karate. And then we came home and had pizza and watched a movie. It was a lot of fun. So I was able to use some stickers and stamps and then journal about the day. And these are vellum photos. The 13th, I loved this quote and I loved the colors. So I decided to kind of use that as um, my starting place for colors. And I tried to mimic some of the arrows. I did okay. And then over here, I did proud of you because I was proud of my son for working his first shift. And then I just did three other stories from the day and then doodled some like art supplies to go along with this right here. And whenever I want to know how to doodle or like get a picture to doodle, I usually start with Pinterest. And let me tell you, finding like how to's on how to doodle art supplies or school supplies, that was really hard to do. Okay, so this is a good example of how things go in the summer. I did not have a lot of time on this particular day to actually um, journal. So I took some post-it notes and I just scribbled like as fast as I could. And then when I came back, I decided to just focus on two stories and leave the post-it note. Um, Helen from the Coffee Monster Co. Uh, gave this freebie, I think it was in her newsletter, and I love the little trees, and so I decided to kind of mimic those and doodle my own trees, especially since it was a hike day. It went along perfect, and I just love it. I think it's just so cute. And then, of course, I just stuck these post-it notes right there and called it done. So... There's lots of other information about the day, but I just chose two topics, like I said. 
This was my daughter having a parade and she did awesome. We also played Legos and then it was a girl's night. I wish I had taken photos because I just keep forgetting to take photos of what we do during the evening. So next time we have a girl's night, I'm going to take pictures. Another weekly recap and then just talking about my husband for Father's Day. Totally forgot to get a photo. I don't even think we got a Father's Day photo. We didn't get a Mother's Day photo either. <laughs> so I guess we're skipping this year. I don't know. Here's another like ladies night. My husband and I rotate who does sports practices. So that's why my daughter and I sometimes get uh, time or extra time together. I decided to play off of these two stickers that I had and just go with all yellow. And I found this like paper piece of paper. I think it was from a journaling card. And so I just cut it and then added what books I'm reading. On this day, I got a lot of time to scrapbook and create and be in my space. So I focused on those stories and again, used a scrapbook uh, digital kit right there. And then the next day, you guys, we went on vacation and had an absolutely incredible time. And so I decided to make the pages really special. Before we left, I kind of knew that we were going to spend one day at the beach and another day in nature. So I decided to print some stickers and you guys, I did four by six vellum inserts with a collage and then I glued them in. They're, they're staying for the most part, but I am just, I'm obsessed with this page. I just, I love it. And then did bullet point and I did clusters here with some clear stickers, washi tape. And then I did some lettering there. And then this is clear stickers as well. And I just, I, I just love it. It turned out so good. And then over here, I decided to do a giant tree since we went to go to uh, the Redwoods and then do some layered stamping right there along with layered washi tape. And then this is the collage right here. Let me flip it. So this is the collage and my kids, I don't know if you can tell, but my kids brought Legos so I could pose them. And that's something that my kids used to do many years ago. And this year they decided to bring it back. And I was just all for that. I just loved it. So that is that collage and it's just so good. And then you, you could still see the page. Um, I just glued it right in there. Hopefully it stays. Next up is just, I was in a bad mood. I missed, I missed a washi tape sale and I was just mad at myself and I was just feeling bleh. But I also started taking a scrapbook class that was called Stash Class. And, and Allie Edwards said, what are your short-term goals and long-term goals? So that's what I put down here. And then this day just turned out really fantastic. And I was going through my stash, trying to use more of it. And I found this piece, some labels, and another label, and I decided to go with red, not red, green and yellow, and it's so pretty. And I got a picture of me sitting in the grass, and I just did a long list of how great the day was. Because sometimes when I'm with the kids on the weekends, you never know what you're going to get. It's never a dull moment when you're a parent or a caregiver, but this day really worked out well. Then Sunday, a heat wave continued and we wound up staying inside a lot and it was actually a really good day. My kids kind of went back to the classics, at least that's what I'm referring to in this uh, spread. They did Lego building and Lego sorting with me, which was amazing. And then when the kids were little, we would take a giant like squishy ball and throw it around. Um, Nothing really broke, so that was good, but it ha we had a lot of laughs, so it was really fun. My daughter also colored these fish stickers. She only gave me one, and then I kind of stole another one because I wanted to balance it out, so <laughs> I had to balance it out. And then the next day, I wound up getting some me time, and as I was going through my die cuts and sorting them, uh, let me show you that real quick. I moved my die cuts closer to my journal area and so now they're in these these two containers so that's how i've been trying to use them a little bit more um and if they're thick too thick i will just peel off the backing as 
best as I can. Um, and then I'm trying to use labels more. But yeah, these are the two containers. And I'm very happy with how the organization turned out for this. Because it used to be right up here in these acrylic desk organizers. But this is helping me to use what's in my die cut stash more. So I found this die cut and it said, enjoying peace and quiet, absolutely necessary and well-deserved. And I accidentally got like five hours to myself on this Monday. So I knew I had to use that. And then I did just neutral colors and a little bit of washi tape. Next up was a beach day and my mom had ordered the new Pip Sticks sticker book. Let me grab that. It's this one. It's amazing and I just, I just love it. I, I love it. Um, and I'm excited to use it more in July. But I used the sticker book right away to find all kinds of different beach stickers um, that would match like yellows and greens and then did a title and just talked about going to the beach. The next day was kind of a take it easy day. I had a lot of sun and I just I put being a woman is blob mode. I just did not feel good, you know, mentally um, with all the lady stuff going on. But I made a really cute page using all kinds of the Coffee Monster Co. stickers and it turned out super cute. Another Coffee Monster Co. page with the um, hiking stickers and trees and then this little sticker here. And then I just added in a clear sticker and some scrapbook um, stamping from Ali Edwards. But I talked about our hike and then other highlights from the day. Working on the stash class some more. So I put in the photos that I had from this past week um, about the stash class and then my daughter getting promoted in karate. The last weekend of June, there was a massive uh, soccer tournament. So I did a whole page dedicated to my son and I slapped down this sticker because it was in my sticker book, you know, the reusable one, not realizing that my son's main uniform was red. So whoops. So I went with all blue and then added in a sticker, a die cut, and then made some soccer balls and made the photo really big. Now for this one, I stuck down very busy to kind of coordinate and then added in some various stickers and smiley faces and decided to just do bubbles or kind of bubbles. I don't know, somewhat of bubbles for uh, the whole week and it's turned out really great. And that wraps up June and I just cannot get enough of this journal. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing another walkthrough that makes six months of walkthroughs. I so appreciate you stopping by and watching this. Have a great day.